You have my undying support. Thank you. Thank you very much. And always. Jeff, it's an honor to be with you, please. Donald Trump and Jeff Van Drew are down there holding a rally. That was the personal favor he got for pledging his undying support to Donald Trump. Meanwhile, in Atlantic City, this is the legacy that was left behind. Stiffed workers, empty buildings, and a whole underrepresented community. At a time when we've seen such hateful and divisive language, when we've seen a president who tries to divide people rather than unite us as a country, I believe that there is a different way. And I hope that I can be the person that brings that sense of empathy and compassion back to our government so that we are planning about how we can be a more inclusive nation. I voted no on impeachment, and it was an easy call. You have my undying support. Thank you. Thank you very much. And always. And by the way, same way. Thank you. I'm endorsing him, OK? <laughs> We're endorsing him. I know you are ready to fight for a stronger, better, and more equitable South Jersey. I'm ready to fight with you. I'm ready to fight for you. And I'm ready to fight for the South Jersey that all of our families deserve. Thank you. Go! He completely threw out the notion of all that the Democratic Party stands for. The standing up for working families, as I said, for veterans, for health care, for education, for affordable housing, uh, all the things that Democrats care deeply about, South Jerseyans care deeply about. And so this is now a contrast unlike any I can ever remember in my political life. You've got that guy who cut and run, uh, and you've got Amy Kennedy, who is the real deal. Millions are losing their jobs. We need to make sure that we're protecting health care for workers and families. How can we help support those small businesses that maybe just that extra cost of becoming compliant uh, is enough to make it impossible for them to reopen? So I think there's a lot there that we need to factor in and make sure that we're covering during this time so that they'll be able to give back to our economy once they're through this difficult period. The quality of whether or not we're protecting those beaches will ultimately impact our tourism industry. So knowing that if we don't make um, a concerted effort to really protect our environment, that the economy is what will suffer here.